What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a advanced timer. I already did a video on timers, but apparently a lot of you guys requested a way to for example add milliseconds or delete the hours. So today I'm going to be showing you that. Just click on uh, layer new text. Then on this arrow right here on text. And now you can hold alt and click on the source text so this expression panel opens I have one expression right here it looks complicated but it really isn't and I'm, I'm gonna explain the most important parts to you later so just stick around just copy it and paste it in here that's pretty much all you gotta do and now you already have this r really really sweet countdown now let's zoom in a little bit and make some space. Now, if you uh, open up this expression again, you can see it. There we go. Now, our time indicator is at 30 seconds, and amazingly, the timer counts to 30, or roughly. Well, I'm not exactly at 30. There we go. I can change this count speed to, let's say, 3 and now the timer counts to 1 minute 30 seconds because now it counts 3 times as fast 3 times as fast, sorry you can also change it to 0 0.5 it only counts half the speed or you can change it to, let's say, minus 1 and it counts negative just like that so now let's uh, play around with it we can move back to 0 and put the clock start at 60 seconds well, let's do that to 1 again there we go now it starts at 1 minute and just counts regularly that's how it works now you can also let's move it back to 0 really quick if you don't like these additional zeros you can also delete them if you want when you delete this zero right here then it simply uh, only do does this but I personally like it more with a uh, kind of digital clock so there we go and on the last video a lot of people commented on how to get rid of milliseconds or hours for example this is really simple in this expression for example you don't want the milliseconds just delete everything after times seconds just delete it, click away and the milliseconds are gone there you go can also delete the seconds or the minutes or the hours whatever you want so let's say delete the hours just take everything from the hours so before the minutes right here delete it there you go and the minus plus here is just the minus sign in front if you take a negative value here so just ignore it and now we only have the minutes and seconds and yeah that's basically it so just delete all the stuff that you don't want and you should be fine I'm gonna reset it really quick here just copy it back there we go so now you can also just do the uh, cosmetic thing and just like a regular layer you can oh first of all you have to click on it there we go you can change the the color to whatever you want can add let's say a bevel and a boss and if you have a good day you can also let's say a vector blur so and uh, you can do anything you want right here just doesn't that look amazing absolutely just do whatever you want this time it's really very uh, flexible you can just like a regular text layer. So I hope this video helped and before I leave I'm gonna show you my new favorite font. There we go. Yes. Isn't that great? Well uh see you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have the link to the expression in the uh YouTube description. I basically just uploaded this this text document right here to me Mediafire, you can just download it. Don't worry, it's not a virus, it's just a text document. Well, see you guys later. Bye.